Hi, I'm Jordan Klevinoff. I'm an OBGYN resident at Christiana Hospital, and welcome to this week's episode of Pocket Pearls. So we're here today with two of my co-residents. This is Dr. Elizabeth Shai and Dr. Marissa Gilstrap, and Liz has some questions for us today about GBS treatment. So how do you guys treat GBS? Typically, if a patient is found to be GBS positive in labor, we'll treat them with 5 million units of penicillin as a loading dose, and then they'll get 2.5 million units every four hours after that. Okay. And what, if and what if they have an allergy? So if the patient has a true allergy to penicillin, so something like respiratory distress, urticaria, anaphylaxis, then we'll use vancomycin. IV one gram every 12 hours until delivery. Sometimes we'll have it ordered so pharmacy can dose it and then it's weight based. If the patient had sensitivity and specificity to the GBS that was isolated antenatally, and we know that it's sensitive to both erythromycin and clarithromycin, then another alternative is clindamycin 900 milligrams IV every eight hours until delivery. And what if it's not a real allergy? So typically we can do cefazolin, two gram loading dose, and then we treat them every eight hours with one gram, and that's through their IV. Do we include treatment if they have a history of a GBS UTI, or if they have a previous neonate that had GBS sepsis or GBS? Um, like invasive disease. So yes. absolutely. If mom had a GBS UTI any time during pregnancy, we would treat, or if mom is a neonate with a history of invasive disease, we would also, also treat. Those four scenarios are more for people that we don't know their GBS status. So I think the takeaway points from today's discussion are that if a woman is GBS positive, we treat with penicillin. If she has a true allergy to penicillin, then you have either vancomycin or clindamycin as options. If it's not a true allergy, it's appropriate to treat with cefazolin. And if we don't know mom's GBS status, we treat if she's delivering preterm, has a fever intrapartum, has prolonged rupture of membranes, or if testing comes back positive. Okay, and what if it's not a real allergy? Take two. <laughs> I'm clearly really yeah. bad. <laughs> no, no, I haven't got, I didn't get over to you yet. So that's what that's all about. You're doing great. Um, okay. And what if it's not a real allergy? <laughs> okay, I forgot. Okay. I forgot the best. Don't, don't, oh, here she is. What do you think we should do with the three of us? Be like, we're teaching Liz or still the camera person? Doesn't matter, huh? Just, just get started. Well, they don't know what the hell to say. <laughs>